Hey everyone, it's your apologetics guy, Mikkel here. We just finished up listening to the entire Gospel of Mark in the Bible Experience audio Bible. And wow, that was a very fast paced trip through Jesus' life. That really, it really focused on the last week of his life. And you know, some people actually say that Mark is really a Passion Week story with a super duper long introduction. Now, if you finished listening to the audiobook along with me, I wanna say thank you so much for joining me. It really was fun to do it with you. And let me tell you three things that I liked. First, um, at the Passover meal, I loved hearing the singing in the background, you know, just to remind me that Jesus and his disciples actually sang together. And as a singer, I think that's really cool. And when these planes stop flying overhead, I can start vlogging again. Okay, I also liked hearing how in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus prayed the same thing again. You know, it just reminded me that it's okay to pray the same thing to God more than once. I mean, the Jews would pray the Shema more than once every day, you know, and Jesus wasn't down on that. I mean, he and his disciples, they participated in liturgical worship in the temple. Um, but when Jesus said not to babble like pagans, he might've been referring to pagan mantras or magic spells that people would use over and over again. So a very, very different thing. Another thing I really loved is hearing Jesus before the high priest in Mark 14. You know, uh, Jesus was saying that he was actually going to judge the high priest and the council one day in the eschaton. So I really liked how there was an audible gasp at the blasphemy charge there. Now, a couple of things I didn't like um, in this particular audio presentation. One was soldiers going crucify him in the background in the Garden of Gethsemane. I mean, that's not in the text, and I don't think anyone could have really obeyed that order. And then when Jesus died, it's really the, only the soldier who says, this was the Son of God. But having other people say that in the background kind of seems misleading. But overall, I really like the dramatized version of this gospel. And hey, I'd love to hear your comments about listening to this book too. Uh, we are listening to the Gospel of Luke now this week, so if you want to join us uh, one chapter each weekday will actually get us um, to the end of the book. It'll let us finish before the new year. So I will link to the audio below and uh, hit that like button if you want to join us and I will see you in the next video.